You're watching News 4 at 6. Frontline workers have kept this country moving for the past seven months. Still are. Well, today they're being recognized. News Force Derek Ward takes a look at the special tribute sewn in their honor. This project on the National Mall is actually a birthday gift. Diane Candy's mother, who lives in Florida, asked for something she could share. Instead of something easy, can you help America heal, Diane? A tall order in these days of division and disease, but Diane figured she could fulfill her mother's wish with the tried and true concept of a quilt, individual panels telling the stories of the times. American has been using quilts for hundreds of years. While the usual needle and thread just wouldn't be practical, there's a common thread running through this era, the novel coronavirus, the frontline workers, and the victims. Some panels done by artists, some by children. We've had people from as young as two-year-old to 95 years old. The mall exhibit invites anyone who happens by to make a picture or write a message right on the spot. There's the visiting student from Hungary. We are going to get through this and uh, uh, please wear a mask. The man doing his part for the cause via a virtual marathon with a message for the frontliners. We haven't forgotten them. The cyclists who pedaled up and ponied up. Now, this might seem a bit morbid, and indeed, there's a lot of tragedy represented here. But step back a little bit, and you'll see that this all represents hope. I think the goal, you know, our slogan is, together we will heal. And even before there's a cure, that healing can start. On the National Mall, Derek Ward, News 4. Yeah, a lot of hope out there on the mall. That exhibit is gone now, but you can find out how to virtually contribute by going to COVID-19USHonorQuilt.com. When you do, you'll be able to find out how you can submit your own panel for the quilt project.